Hi, welcome back. Uh, I just wanted to start off by thanking everybody for all the love and support that you've given me. Uh, it's been really motivating and I appreciate it a lot. And I also noticed that I didn't really explain what I was doing very well. So I've drawn it on a whiteboard just to help everybody understand. So I started out with two pieces of about one and a half by 18. And I thinned the entire piece out to three quarters of an inch because that's the narrowest part of the final piece. And you might be thinking, well, if you're gonna taper it down at the end, why don't you just go straight from here to here and not worry about trying to make it three quarters of an inch. That's just extra work. But I wanted to make sure, since I'm making two pieces that need to be pretty identical, I wanted to make sure that the tapers and stuff were all gonna be the same. So I started out by making it three quarters of an inch by about 24. That way I can measure like say five inches here and five inches here are gonna be the exact same amount of material. So I got to this point and then I put the bends in them and drilled some holes and then it together. So just thank you guys and I hope you enjoy the video. Hi, welcome back. Uh, last video I made some tilling for hammer making and this video we're gonna make some hammer making tongs out of these two pieces of metal. Um, I sketched a template on this piece of wood so my pieces are the same and then we'll peen them together and then fit them up to the size we need. So let's get going. So to start out with I use my 12 pound sledge to work down the material on a couple inch section and then I would move along to my four pound sledge just to refine the shape a little bit. And I continued going back and forth until the entire bar was at about three quarters of an inch wide. And then I did the same thing to the other piece. So I got a line here to make sure that it's the same size as this one. Now I'm going to start drawing this piece out. So now I've got these pieces the same size. I'm going to measure about five inches from the top and then another three inches or so and then taper it in both directions and then we'll bend it from there. So for the next step I started a taper about five inches from the end and then put a little curl on it.
After I curled the end, I flipped it over and started tapering down the handle. And once I got the handle completely tapered down, I went back and chamfered all the edges very lightly just to make it a little bit more comfortable and got rid of all the sharp edges. I repeated the same process on the other piece and then right here I'm just marking a place for the bend and then I moved on to bending both pieces. So once I roughed in the bends on both pieces, I bent them together in order to get the bends a little bit more exact and a little bit more even. Next I cut out a piece of steel in order to make a little jig to get the same amount of material peened over on both sides of the tongs. So I'm going to go drill a quarter inch hole in this and then use it to line up the hole in the other piece to make sure they're the same. And then I'm going to drill a quarter inch hole in this piece and that'll be used to make sure we paint over the same amount of stock on both sides of the song. So I drilled an eighth inch hole in all of the pieces to have a little bit more accuracy and now I'm gonna Move up to quarter inch. Once I got the holes drilled in both sides, I was able to put a piece of rod in them and see how they're looking so far. And then I measured out an extra quarter inch on both sides and cut the rod. And then I filed off the ends and set up my jig. This allowed me to get exactly a quarter inch peened over on both sides of the tongue. So I just finished up my tongs. Uh, I'm really happy with how they turned out. They're pretty even. And they do a pretty decent job. Uh, holding things, which is kind of the whole point of tongs. 
I'd like to just thank you guys again for all the support you've been giving me, and I hope you enjoyed the video.